breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Bombshell. Unam Dekano's lawyer warns federal government on the dangerous consequences of disobeying UN order. Bombshell. Unam Dekano's lawyer warned federal government on the dangerous consequences of disobeying UN order. So my dear listener, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read to this news. Chiefs Clifford Okoye, Maurice Efobi and Sam Chuku Kelu are the three Antonis who have issued a warning to the federal government of Nigeria about the consequences of disobeying the recent demand made by the United Nations to release the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Mazi Unambikano from detention. The demand was made by the United Nations. Recent demands made by the United Nations called for Kano's immediate and unconditional release from detention. According to the UN, Kano is only seeking independence for his people in Biafra, and as such, his actions have not yet warranted such unlawful detention. However, the federal government has not yet complied with the United Nations demand, and Kano is still being held by the Directorate of State Services, DSS despite the fact that the government has never issued a categorical affirmative or non-affirmative statement to that effect. This is despite the fact that the government has had ample opportunity to do so. But Okoye, FOB and Chuku Okelu, who spoke to newsmen about the development said that the Nigerian government should not dismiss the UN statement with ignominy in the same way that they disobey or disregard orders from Nigerian courts and get away scot free. Okoye, a Fobil and Choko Okelu spoke to newsmen about the development. To be more specific, Okoye, who had previously served as the chairman of the Nigerian Bar Association, NBA, Agwata branch in Anambra State, made the following statement. I want to thank the UN for lending its voice to Nigerians internal affairs. As a member nation under it, and Nigeria should be a country where freedom of speech and expression are observed. Okoye held this position during his time as NBA Agwata branch chairman. Kano has the right to be released on bond because treason is not considered a capital offense, which means he will not be executed by hanging. I was there when the military stormed Kano's house in Afara Uku Ibeku which is located in Umayal in the state of Abia. Although the United Nations declaration is only persuasive and not compulsory, having that worldwide loud voice, the UN does have a mechanism of enforcing the activities against any deviant nation that falls under it, Okoye remarked. According to Lefobi, who was also a former chairman of NBA, Idemili branch, Nigerians subscribed to the League of Nations and we are obligated to follow any decision taken by the UN. Lefobi is also a former chairman of NBA, Idemili branch, 
As a result, we are left with no choice than to submit to the authority of the umbrella group. Chiefs Clifford Okoye, Maurice Efobil and Sam Chukukelu are the three Antonis who have issued a warning to the federal government of Nigeria about the consequences of disobeying the recent demand made by the United Nations to release the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Mazi Unamdekanu, from detention. The demand was made by the United Nations. Recent demands made by the United Nations, UN, called for the Kanu's immediate and unconditional release from detention. According to the UN, Kanu is only seeking independence for his people in Biafra, and as such, his actions have not yet warranted such unlawful detention. However, the federal government has not yet complied with the United Nations demand and Kano is still being held by the Directorate of State Services, DSS. Despite the fact that the government has never issued a categorical affirmative or non-affirmative statement to that effect. This is despite the fact that the government has had ample opportunity to do so. But Okoye, Afobil and Chuku Okelu, who spoke to newsmen about the development, said that the Nigerian government should not dismiss the UN statement with ignominy in the same way that they disobey or disregard orders from Nigerian court and get away scot free. Okoye, Afobil and Chuku Okelu spoke to newsmen about the development. To be more specific, Okoye, who had previously served as the chairman of the Nigerian Bar Association, MBA, Agwata branch in Anambra State, made the following statement. I want to thank the UN for lending its voice to Nigerian internal affairs as a member of nation under it and Nigeria should be a country where freedom of speech and expression are observed. So my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by the comment section and